Yeah. Fella is saying to go to the side. Okay. Wait, stop here. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. So whilst being bitten horrendously by mosquitoes here in Guayaquil, we have managed to change out the old Garmin charging cable and take it all out from the battery to here. And the technician here behind me has <laughs> rewired us uh, and the new Garmin charging cable that we picked up from the Garmin store earlier today. And it works. Yeah. The Garmin is back. It's an amazing, nice feeling when things are working out. We also picked up the GoPro Media Mod today, so that was successful. We've just got to wire up the helmet and that should be good to go. But for now, it's been pretty successful here in Guayaquil. We've got new brake pads, we've got new oil, new filter. The Garmin is up and running again. Our GoPro is working again, so we're ready to hit the road tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, it's just wonderful to have a nice breakfast together, isn't it, Lavi? Navi? Navi? Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 339. <laughs> On our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in Guayaquil in Peru and look at where we're staying. For our last night here in Guayaquil, my parents treated us to this place so that we could have a little bit of luxury before we hit the road again into Ecuador. They were actually here in Guayaquil just a couple of weeks ago because they went to the Galapagos and the Galapagos is actually Ecuadorian. So this is where you fly uh, when, when you visit the Galapagos. But whilst they passed through, they actually left us a package here as well. And guess what we got? Ooh! So it's not actually Marmite, it's actually the Aldi version of Marmite, but it tastes just as good. And I've been absolutely missing this stuff. So they actually brought us two jars. So we will have bread, cheese, and marmite from now on. <laughs> I mean, that addition just transforms bread and cheese. Enough said. So we've had a beautiful breakfast at the Iguanazu bed and breakfast here, but it is time soon to hit the road. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here on the coast and today we are heading to Reserva Fornistica Chimborazo. So we are going to be heading up through Babahoyo and along this road past Guaranda. And after we visited there, we're going to see if we can get even a little bit further up this road. So when we were doing our research into this leg of the trip, we found something absolutely crazy. And that is that this volcano, Chimborazo, is actually the furthest point on the earth from the equator. So because in the equator, the Earth is sort of bulging out because of the centrifugal force of the Earth's rotation, it means that as this volcano is the highest point nearest the equator, that we will be able to touch the stars. Basically, this is the closest place to outer space that you can get on Earth. Incredible, I can't wait to see it. But we have one last mission here in town and that is to find an audio splitter because at the moment we can just record Ollie's voice. Our audio splitter broke so we have to replace it and I don't know how easy it is to replace it. So we will ride around a little bit in town until we are fed up or until we found it. <laughs> And yeah, let's hope for the best. So Google Maps says it takes about four and a half hours to reach the volcano. It's already nine o'clock, so better hit the road, let's go. Oh my God, guys, I was just outside for one minute without the top. Oh no. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you have quite a few bites already. Jesus. It's so itchy. I oh, know, and Tim down there as well. They really want to eat you alive here. There's so many mosquitoes here. Watch out to the jungle. <laughs> yeah, we are in the jungle now, hey? And there are mosquitoes everywhere. Look at this absolutely stunning place where we spent the last 24 hours. <laughs> look, look at there's a pool over there with a little rock thing next to it. It's a really, really beautiful place.
and it's right on the edge of this like huge rainforest area but yeah lots of mosquitoes so also because we don't have the splitter yet Lavi can't talk at all she is exempt from talking yes. she can just relax on the back <laughs> so it's just me but let's see if we can get a splitter <laughs> all right ready to rock and roll so it's a little bit um off-road <laughs> to get out of here look at this river thing oh my goodness literally what is this road Whee! oh my goodness okay we'll go here this way <laughs> yeah Hello YouTube, it is nice to meet you, my name is Daniel, here in Guayaquil, they are so amazing people, uh, try to visit us here in Iwanasu, BNB, I don't know I'm with how it works, but we will treat you really good. They do, they do, I can recommend them a lot. <laughs> See you guys. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That's a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, oh, getting some wind! Oh, no entry. Okay, so the audio store, or one audio store that we've seen in the city online is 4.2 miles away. So we're going to head over to there and see if they've got the pup. Whoa, look at this place. Oh my goodness. Hold on a minute. Wow, I can hardly see. Hold on a second. Yeah, so this place is only 15 minutes away, so fingers crossed they've got the splitter we need. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, everyone look at me. Yeah, that microphone is working. So I'm just in the audio shop and um, uh, he's only got this thing here. It's like a massive multi-way splitter uh, where I think audio just travels through it. So we just bought two of them. So. Uh, I read on the box, it said that each port can be either an input or an output. So basically, we are going to attach this to the helmet and then my microphone and Lavi's microphone are going to plug into there. And then we're going to use the little cable that came with it to connect it to the GoPro. And that will be fine. Yeah, audio is back, baby. <laughs> And we are back online. <laughs> Hello. I really, really missed your voice this morning. Ah. <laughs> and I'm sure our viewers did too. <laughs> anyway, I'm not actually 100% sure if this new system is working 100% properly. We probably won't know until we listen back later tonight to the audio. Yes, fingers crossed, eh? Yes, otherwise, I'm sorry, we'll have to do another voiceover episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. That is our only mission here in Guayaquil for today. And now we are on our way out and on our way to the Chimborazo Natural Reserve. To the moon. I didn't even know that this place exists. I'm so uh, excited. Yeah, that's a pretty interesting place. And the volcano itself is actually the highest peak in Ecuador. And one of the highest peaks of all the Andes. I think it's like over 6,000 meters tall. Super cool. Yeah, super cool. I can't wait to see it. We just stopped on the side of the road because we saw that these guys have a, a PSI meter and now that our tire pump is broken, we, um, we don't know how pumped up our tires are anymore and it's been a little while since we checked them. So I just asked this fella if he's got a meter to check the PSI and he does because they're a tire shop. Gracias. Uh, this one, um, uh, 34. See? Yeah. Okay. Perfecto. Uh, this one, 38. Gracias. Uh, okay, because of the, uh, the way that the, the meter is. Oh no. Wait, let me try one more time. No, okay. <laughs> okay. Gracias. Gracias. At least we know that the front tire is, uh, is on a good uh, air. 
<laughs> it's so hard to f to pump up the tires here, you know. Every petrol station, they had tire pumps, but without the meter. Yeah, so we just have no idea what pressure we're at. I think the I think the local people I saw them, they just sort of push the tire, and they're like, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> yes. I don't know. I just wanted to be a little bit more specific, but anyway. So we've arrived at the river Daule here, which runs right through Guayaquil. And I think we're about to go up on a bridge and cross it, hey? Yeah, I think in a minute, yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa, look at this mega statue here. Crazy. Looks like an indigenous Ecuadorian, apparently with a pet jaguar. <laughs> Maybe the uh, indigenous Ecuadorians went to battle with Jaguars. Here it is. Cool, look at that. It's massive. Beautiful. It's a real jungle river, this one. Goodbye, Guayaquil. <laughs> it was nice. Thank you for everything. That so we could replace all our broken equipment here. It was an expensive but successful visit. Yeah got some rain coming already in the first hour of the ride not really good for our brand new media mod which is not fully waterproof wow there's some like marshy area here and it's full of herons white herons wow incredible how many there's a lot of herons there that is awesome wow yeah it is wet around here absolutely just pools and pools and lakes on both sides of the road man yeah when it's the rainy season here in ecuador then it rains whoa look at this place it's like the craziest fun park ever look at that look awesome wow there's like a plane there's a castle there's like slides and pools <laughs> it's called ray park looks like fun wow that looks like a good day out but you know what's also a good day out riding in the rain holy moly the uh, water is really on the road here wow oh my goodness look at that yeah we saw actually here on the side of the road many houses which were underwater it's so crazy and i can see on google maps as well that some towns here are actually flooded yeah i think even for ecuador the rains that have been happening recently like the one we experienced when we first got here this place is literally starting to flood there's a lot of water around at the moment look at this wow it's like literally just lakes straight on the side of the road and these are normally fields as well look at that crazy it's awesome for birds <laughs> but yeah yeah the herons are loving it yeah wow 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 oh my goodness I mean some of this is nearly on the border of being too deep for us to be honest yeah I think so too maybe we can ride on the other side uh... what's going on here yeah. fellas saying to go to the side okay wait stop here hey Huh? Then, what? I think he said like it's a lagoon or something, didn't he? It's okay. Aquí. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, so he's saying that there's too much water. The guy who just came past yeah. the other way just yeah, said yeah. the same thing. Yeah. Okay, I think we'll go with these fellas on the bikes. I think it's a, just a big lagoon here and it's just completely overflowed. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Okay, so can I sit on it? Yes, 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 y